What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, D. And it is Monday afternoon. Well, Monday night. It's about 8 o'clock. I just woke up from a nap. I had work today. I was tired. I came home, took a nap. Now, I'm about to get me something to eat from Chipotle. I decided I was going to come in and check in on you guys. See what y'all were up to. And you know what? I'm about to head and get in the car, and I'm going to hit y'all back once I get in the car. All right? Bye. Uh. What's up, y'all? So I am in the car, about to go to Chipotle. We all go to Chipotle. What do y'all get? Do you get a burrito? Do you get a bowl? Do you get the tacos? What do y'all get when you get Chipotle? Most of the time I get a bowl, but today I was filling a burrito. So I got a burrito today. A steak burrito, brown rice, black beans, um, steak, pico, corn, cheese, sour cream, light of the green sauce. I love that green sauce. Light, oh, man, light green salsa. And that's it. I have to have the chips and guac. I love that chips and guac, so I have to have me an order of chips and guac. Jay got a veggie bowl. Pretty much all the veggies. Brown rice. He likes pinto beans. So he got a veggie bowl. Y'all already know your boy, Sir G, is at work, so he missed it out on this Chipotle. And yeah, yeah. So the Chipotle that I'm going to, it has like a drive through window, so it's convenient. You don't have to go in. I already put my order in online, paid for. So it's called the Chipotle Lane. So you just go through the little drive through tell them your name, and you pick up your order, and you're good to go. It is so convenient. That's This is the first Chipotle that I've seen with the drive through window. But you can't just drive up. Oh, sorry, y'all. You can't just, I like it. Ah, you just can't drive up to the window and place an order like you would at any other restaurant. You have to pre-place the order online, then go to the drive-thru and pick it up. So that's how that works. So yeah, y'all. Do y'all, do you guys does Chipotle have the Chipotle light -like little drive-thru? I think they started doing that because of COVID, which is a great idea, so they can control how many people are coming in the inside, so you just place your order online and just come to the drive through and just pick it up that way. Really smart idea. Very convenient for the customer. So yeah, y'all. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I'm ready for it to be Friday already. Today wasn't too bad. Today went kind of fast. I was just tired when I got home, so I decided to take me a little nappy poo. And yeah, that's what it is, y'all. I had fun shooting that um, she in video for y'all last night. That was fun. I hope y'all like the um, like the stuff that I picked, and I I hope I could could give you guys some ideas, some of the girls out there, some ideas of things that you may want to pick up from she in. y'all haven't went and streamed the music, go stream my music. I'm going to have to tell you that every time, because it may be someone new, and they don't know. So, Nicole DeSanti, Get It Off Tonight, Toxic Love, Fight Yell, all streaming platforms. Sir G's Music, Zaza, all streaming platform, all streaming platforms. So, yeah. I cannot get my words together. I think I'm still sleeping. <clears throat> it was really warm today too. It was about 80 something degrees. Was it warm in your area? Actually, it was a little hot. Y'all, if y'all know me, I don't do heat like that. I'll be needing the AC. I 
know I've been telling y'all I'm gonna get the stand. Still have not gotten the stand yet. All right, y'all. I'm about to pick up my food from the drive-thru. See y'all. That's a drive-thru. Chipotle drive-thru. We'll be back in just a second. What's up, y'all? So, what I came in here to talk about was the whole Megan the Stallion and Tory Lane situation. So, I just watched. Uh, Meg the Stallion's interview with Gail King. And I want to talk about it for a quick second. So, if you don't know about the situation, the whole situation with Tory Lanez and Megan the Stallion happened two years ago. It was her, Tory Lanez, and her friend named Kelsey were all hanging out at Kylie Jenner's house. So they were all hanging out at Kylie Jenner's house, having a good time, swimming in the pool, drinking, I'm pretty sure doing whatever else. And Meg was ready to go. And I guess the crew that she was with, I guess Tory Lanez and her friend wasn't ready to go yet. So they got into this argument, I guess at Kylie Jenner's house, and in the car. We definitely know they got into an argument in the car that got extremely heated. So, they're in the car arguing. Megan says she starts feeling safe. So, she decides to get out of the car. She gets out of the car. And all she says she hears, she tells Gail King, is she hears a man saying, dance, bitch. And a couple of shots are fired. She said her, her adrenaline is going and it's just chaotic. And she's thinking that she's been shot, but she's not sure. Because, you know, every, with everything going on, her adrenaline is so high, she can't even really tell. She feels something, but she's not sure. She looks down and tells, okay, I've been shot. This dude really just shot me. So she says she crawls into um someone's driveway and... About this time, she says, Tory Lane says, okay, 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 I'm sorry. I give y'all a million dollars just to not say anything. And she's like, give me a million dollars to not say anything. What you mean? If you're sorry, help me. If you're sorry, help me. Like, what do you mean a million dollars? So she says at this time, I guess they're in LA. I probably, I guess, still in Calabasas, somewhere up in the hills where all these rich people live. So once they heard those gun gunshots, police, helicopters in the air, I mean, it is a full-blown scene. So she said the police get there and they ask her what happened. She says that she steps, she stepped on a piece of glass. And the police are like, okay, you stepped on a piece of glass, okay. She's the reason why she lied and said that she stepped on a piece of glass is because during this time when all this happened. The whole George Floyd situation just happened a few months prior. And she was saying all these black people, he just shot a gun, a hot gun. And the um, police right now, you don't know what they may do. All of them could have been killed. You don't. You never know. Sometimes the police can be imp um, unpredictable. So she said she lied because she was trying to protect and save all of them. But... She ended up going to the um hospital. The police goes to the police also um show up at the hospital. They question her again. She's still saying that she um stepped on a piece of glass. So the police decide, okay, you stepped on a piece of glass, whatever, they leave. The daughter comes back in and says, Well, you must step on a hell of a piece of glass because there's bullet fragments in your foot. And there's still bullet fragments in her foot to this day. So, for Tory Lanez to say that he didn't shoot her, somebody shot her. She didn't shoot herself. Then her friend, her homegirl, her best friend from Houston, text, they had the text message receipt that she texted Meg's bodyguard and said, help, Tory just shot Meg. So, they have that. They have the um, medical records that she was shot in the foot. 
She's not lying about she was shot. She didn't step on a piece of glass. She was shot. She did have bullet fragments in her foot. She still has bullet fragments in her foot to this day. And it's crazy that this guy is going around and acting like he didn't shoot her when he did, allegedly. So, oh my God, the whole thing is just crazy. Her and the friend, her and the um girl are not cool anymore. They um asked for a statement from the Kelsey girl. She, well, her attorney replied and said that at this time she declined any statements. And, of course, Tory Lane got arrested recently. He bailed out because of some... He violated some order about talking about the whole situation before court. So, something happened with that. They ended up arresting him for talking about the whole situation. But he bailed out. He's out. The um case actually will start later on this year. So we'll be back to talk about it. But the whole thing is just crazy. That this man allegedly shot this girl in the foot. And what's really amazing to me is that how some people just think she's lying about it. I mean, she did lie and say that she stepped on a piece of glass. But I understand why she lied about it. I mean, I understand with everything that was going on with the George Floyd and with the police and them being black and them being famous, I understand why she lied about it. Then Gail King asked her about, did she have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? And her answer with that, mm, man, now that was a little shaky. Now, I don't know if you and Tory Lanez had something going on or if you didn't, but the way you answered that, it left a little a little bit more speculation. So she claimed they just were real good friends. They both uh, they both lost their mother, I think, in the same year, or if not the same year, they both bonded over losing their mothers. And I can relate to that too, because I lost my mother in 2020. So I can relate with others that have lost a parent because it's just it's that's a club you do not want to be a part of. And um, she said they hung out like every day. So they had this, they were like besties. And this happened and just ruined everything. So this was just sad state of affairs. It's crazy. Um, She said she's still, I mean, her anxiety is just through the roof. She can't trust anyone. It's hard to um let anyone in, which I can imagine. She says she really can't talk to anyone that she doesn't know, any strangers for longer than 30 minutes before she just bursts into tears. So I'm pretty sure she's having some severe PTSD from the whole situation. And it's just sad. It's, she has, she lost her dad, she lost her mom. I mean, she doesn't have anybody, it doesn't seem like, or not too many people. So I just really feel for Megan Thee Stallion. You know, I love her. I love her music. I think she's a beautiful girl. And yeah, y'all. I just wanted to come in and talk about that real quick. And I'm going to see y'all a little bit later when I go pick up your boy. All right. All right. Bye. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. And I'm back. And I'm at the van pickup spot. Waiting on your boy, Sir G, to get off the van. So, how was y'all day today? <clears throat> Did y'all have a good day? As y'all will see, I went to Chipotle earlier for dinner. Chipotle was just okay today. It wasn't, I've had it better. It wasn't fantastic today. I don't know what was going on, but it was just Okay. <laughs> What did y'all have for dinner? Did y'all cook? Did y'all go out to eat? What did y'all do for dinner? Yeah, y'all. Also, let me... Um, I talked about Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez earlier. I want y'all to comment about what y'all think about that situation down in the comments. So we can talk about that. 
Like always, go stream the music. Nicole DeSante, Fight Yale, Get It Off Tonight, Toxic Love, Sergi Zaza. More songs to come. So, yeah. <clears throat> what do y'all have planned for Tuesday? Do y'all have to work tomorrow? You guys off tomorrow? I have to work tomorrow. I have to... What else do I have to do after work tomorrow? I'll have to edit this video. I was going to go by Best Buy today and look at some digital cameras, but I didn't um, do that. I need to go by the UPS store because I need to mail a package back off. Um, AG said he's about to pull up. Yeah, so you go to the UPS store. I need to go get one of those um, envelopes that has the bubble, the little bubble wrap in the inside. I need to go get one of those so I can mail my package off. What else, what else? Uh, I need to work on some music. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know what I have planned for the weekend yet. I hadn't decided. Do y'all have plans for the weekend already? Do you guys know what you're doing? Let me know. Give me some ideas. Something else I was gonna tell y'all, but I forgot what it was. Ah, oh. I can't remember. I don't know. Maybe it'll come back to me. <clears throat> yeah. See so, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this right here and I'm gonna come back in with y'all when Sergi gets in the car okay alright what's up y'all so AG about to get off the van and we about to get to the house so I can go and get me a few hours of sleep before I have to be right back up <clears throat> now she's speeding off in the van tonight <clears throat> I guess I guess Hey, mother. What's up? Ty, who's hell? Mm -hmm. You send the ring off? What's up, YouTube? You send the ring off? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I fell asleep, and when I woke up, the UPS store was closed by the time. Mm. Then I, but I'm sending it tomorrow because I already got the shipping label print, printed out. Mm. And I got the sitting right up front. So I'm going to send it off tomorrow. Got to. Yeah. I know you keep it good. Y'all yeah, later. I'm going to die. die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God. Got that Monday out of the way, though. It's always just Monday. It's hard to tell. Yeah, because you got to get back in the swing of things. Uh -huh. I'm in it now. I'm good now. Just gotta get this one out of the way. Today went by pretty quick though. It did. It did. I'm strictly about music until we go to Atlanta, bitch. I'm not spending a dollar. <laughs> I promise you that. Mm. It's I'm a government bitch. Music. You've been modeling out there lately. Yeah, that beat is definitely 
earlier than this. Oh, damn. She got a fupa. <laughs> yeah. You keep running into them. Y'all know what a fupa is, right? It's starting to piss me it. off. Okay, <laughs> the kangaroo pouch. <laughs> oh, we can't talk bad about it. I know they'll be like, y'all be going in with the big girls. Okay, I love big girls. <laughs> we do love the big girls. Like, that's why we always talking about them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She cute though, she got a pretty face. That's nice. Got two kids. Mm-hmm. I just text her. I ain't really talk to her. Text me. You ain't sleeping with girls without no kids, I'm saying like right. that's rare. Man, I can't get past a damn I'm trying I'm tired went into the big ones. I'm tired. <laughs> I know because you like those real small petite girls. Right, but since I've been so all about the damn thinking business and shit, I've been adding big girls to the inventory because I'm tired. Uh, you've been adding them to the roster. Okay. <laughs> they got the offer before they get the vote. Right. They may be have something good, something to make it offer. Okay, but if not, chunk them. Yeah. Because I don't need no big girl because that. <laughs> too many damn juices. We gonna let y'all go on this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let y'all when we get to that. Oh, I keep forgetting about you too. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>